What's up YouTube? Intricate Explorer here today. I'm an adventure photographer and I also live in a Toyota Prius. And today I'm exploring Craters of the Moon in Idaho, which is a massive remnant wasteland of an old volcano. And there's basically just like black rocks everywhere. There's bat caves. It's also drizzling snow outside, which means I'm hoping to get this almost white slash black texture contrast thing going on. And it's gonna be fun for photography. I haven't ever been in a place like this with like a volcanic eruption. So it's the first time for me. So let's get started. This first photo, I'm at this place called the Inferno Cone, where it's basically just this landscape of just black with subtly white rocks, and then a white sky in the background because it's kind of cloudy out. So I'm gonna really capture that line of contrast between the black and white, and then use this red as a figure to stand out in it and make that contrast known. So it's gonna be red, white, and black. Right now I'm getting this really kind of on this peaceful creepy vibe where it, the snow almost feels like it's raining ashes in this post-apocalyptic land. The crazy thing is there's these beautiful white flowers that just grow in the middle of all these cinders. Check these babies out. Got some cat dog socks on. Repping that 90s life. All right, so I'm at these spatter cones right now. Look at these things. There's monstrous and all these uh, fences are around it because uh, so many tourists keep walking around in it and it just erodes it really quickly because they're so fragile. So you, just, you can't go around these things at all. Um, look at that. You can just see drop down there. This looks like someone's hat blew off. All right, so check this out another crater I'm basically standing in right now no climbing for all you Instagram whores look at these trees I'm going through it's so haunting because the ground's like black and then the trees are just this like half dead green color here's the scenic overlook which is actually pretty fucking crazy. Look at that. Just all black everywhere. Compositionally, I'm not sure how great of a frame it really is, so I'm just gonna kind of pass on the photo here. I'm just not in the mood for a landscape photo like this right now. I'm into the weirder stuff because I'm here. I can do this kind of shot anywhere. This is honestly one of the strangest landscapes I've ever walked through. And apparently, the temperature differences out here are insane. You would actually think it'd be really hot, but during the summer it can average like 70 to 90, and during the winter it averages like 13 degrees out here because it's low in elevation and it gets really fucking cold. So it actually gets like really snowy in here a lot too, which is really interesting because you just never think of snow and lava in the same area, but here you are. Next I'm going to the Bat Cave, which you actually need a permit to get in there because there's a thing the bats have called white nose syndrome, which if you have trespass, or not trespass, if you've gone in any other caves or mines throughout the United States, you can actually bring that here and it'll kill a lot of the uh, bats. So they basically make sure you don't have any of that on you before you get a permit to go inside these awesome caves. Wild caves, beware of hazards. Fuck, I'm about to go caving by myself because there's no one fucking here. It's gonna be interesting. All right, so check this composition out right here. Got this nice rock right here where all the light is shining on it. It's all lighting up that one rock. So what I'm gonna actually do is, I'm gonna run on top of that rock and I'm gonna bracket the shot. So since it's so exposed up there, I'm gonna take a light shot and then I'm gonna also take a dark shot. So that's gonna pull out all of those colors and details in the rocks as well as the rim around the edge of it. So it's a full contrast color. And I got the red to stand out and it's gonna be fucking awesome. So I just gotta get on top of that rock in 10 seconds cause that's the only amount of time where you can do if you're bracketing a shot. So 
There's actually a ton of pigeons down here for some reason. Kind of expected to see bats, but it's all pigeons. You literally have to follow these like marker things back to the trail once you come out of the tunnel. All right, onwards. I'm going to the Boy Scout and Beauty Cave next. So let's see what's happening over there. Don't want to fall on this road, he lost his soul to a woman so heartless. Yeah. All right, so I'm here at Boy Scout Cave and you actually crawl in these little tiny tunnels that are like pitch black. Like, check that dude out. Yeah, so I didn't bring a headlamp or a flashlight and my phone's like got 1% battery. And I was talking to the dudes there and they're like, yeah, you'd be in trouble if you didn't bring a light. Cause apparently it gets like pitch black down there. Like you can't see shit. So I probably want to get many good photos down there anyway, cause it's gonna be pitch black. But for the experience next time. All right, we have arrived at Beauty Cave. Let's see how far I can get before I uh, get immersed in darkness. Well, this is pretty cool. It's also creepy as fuck though, because there's just darkness behind me and I have no idea what's in there. Phone flashlights, they just don't work. All right, so I'm gonna go ultra minimalist with this shot and basically capture just this outline of this cave, but I'm gonna expose it for the sky and then I'm basically just gonna stand there. So it just looks like this whole black cave with just one figure just standing there in the distance. The cool thing about cave photography is it's generally pretty easy because the light's really only coming from one source, the entrance, so you're not really overwhelmed with a lot of options. You're basically like, all right, the light's coming from there, so I could stand in one of three spots and that's about it. The great thing about shooting here is that everything is high contrast, so you don't really need to be here for sunrise or sunset because a lot of what's taking place is you're shooting in like tunnels where there's harsh light coming through and no light anywhere else or you're shooting on uh, cylinder clones where it's just like black and you want the sky to be white to contrast it. So you're really playing with a lot of harsh contrast here. And it, it's, it's weird because I'm so used to going to places and looking for those beautiful colors in the sky, but here you're really looking for that black and white boundaries, which you can really shoot at any time of the day. All right guys, well, thanks for watching. That's all I got for you today. Drop me a like, subscribe, comment, you know, the usual, hit that like button. Couple announcements, I got a daily podcast that I just released and it's basically if you want to get into the Prius slash adventure photography life a little bit more, that's what you want to do because Instagram's every couple days, YouTube's every couple days, podcast, it's daily. You're seeing from my perspective what's happening, unfiltered stream of consciousness on a daily basis. All the <laughs> and all the awesomeness all conglomerated into one area so i got some guests coming on it too every once in a while so check it out and uh, i will catch you guys later peace the fuck out bitches